fans reaction when it comes to the Eagles and Saints. What a wild game. Now, we're going to get to the coldest panel in the game and myself. Let's make it happen. Right? He's right? like our baby Wolverine. Right? 
And then you've got to love Reed Blankenship. Like I said before, I compared the guy to, you know, Lynch out in San Francisco, but when Lynch played for Tampa Bay, he's there. He's dogging those balls, man. He's diving for it. Ball. I mean, he is a ball hawk. For and sure. I, I like what Zach, Zach Bond's doing, too. He's playing real good. Real good right now. I like him. It's nice to go home to the team that drafted you and you played special teams on and you show them big loss letting you go. Mm hmm And I'll say this though, one thing I did see with Nicobe Dean, it showed me one two things. He cannot defend the pass. No. So we need him as a pass rusher. Mm -hmm. And we need him pretty much to defend the he needs to be defend the run. He can knock me out there or when he comes down to pass me down as a linebacker. That play in itself caught Red right from the get-go. He knew that when it came to their defensive coverage, that Dean was going to have to run the cover. And, and we found out Dean can't cover. Yeah. He can't cover. And here's the, here's the million-dollar thing. I think that once you took this piece out, everything got exposed. Once you took Bryce Huff out of the picture, everything got exposed. Everything. And that's sad to say that your that your lineman that you paid the most to take him out, he has the least snap. Yeah. That's a fifty million dollar mistake though. Fifty million. We gotta either fix it, put him in a scheme. We got to get rid of that contract. I, I, it's mind-boggling for all the things we give Howie credit for. He just can't seem to get it right on the defensive side of the ball. He can't. Like not consistently. I mean, you look at our players. You look at some of the homegrown kids. I mean, you look at the sentimental value of Trotter Jr. Where's Trotter Jr. been? He hasn't played yet, so that's telling you something that's been in there. Um, I think Millie Williams on the line, he's a good rotational guy. Um, still don't like where Milton Williams was picked a couple of years back. I, I think you have to explore the defensive side of the ball this offseason. You really do. I mean, you've got to get bigger up front. You know, Graham Cracker is leaving us. And for a guy who's what? 36 years old. And still got it left in the tank. See, that's what he shows me. He is not doing his farewell tour this year. I mean, you know, no rocking chairs being pulled out for Grandpa Brand. No, he's I mean, out there and ball. He's balling, for I sure. I agree. Comment below all the things we're saying about the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. You already know. Jalen Hurt. He settled in in the second half. He did. Definitely settled in in the second half. One thing that I've got to take out of it, and I mean, I mean, this has been echoing for a long time. His pocket presence has to get better. I, I can't disagree with that. Not only that, if we're going to do a read option and we're going to ride with the ball, keep the ball to Saquon. Let Saquon do his thing. I mean, I know Jalen loves running with the ball. There's no doubt about it. Warriors mentality. But we're in the 21st century. We're saying that our quarterback has to stay upright and healthy. Right. I mean, he's got to run less to give off the ball more. He's got to read those mid routes. I mean, that defensive scheme that they ran at us from the get-go, he looked lost out there. Agreed. You know, second sure. half, he turned it around, like you said. He didn't definitely adjust it very well in the yeah. second half. Um, like I said, the pocket presence. Hey, Sometimes I'm looking at it. I, I'm screaming at the TV. Throw it away. Live to see another day. Somehow, somehow, some way, he finds finds the right receiver. But there was that one where he threw in threw in the end zone. Mm -hmm. That was not a Devonte Smith route. No. And they even said that was a that was an AJ Brown route. Right, and Devonte with his size. I think it was more of a trust thing. I think Jalen thought Devontae will go get that ball. Right. Versus, hey, I have to front that guy. I heard the guys talk about that. Olsen was right. Olsen is not always right, but he was right on this occasion. I agree. He had to front on that route, and he did not. He didn't splash. And as a result, that safety stepped up and picked it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. 
So what was your take on this New Orleans performance? They're legit. They are a legit team in the NFC. I really do. I think now with the losses they garnered that game, mm, that's going to hurt them on their offensive line. Um, they're tough. They come ready to play, and they'll punch you in the mouth. And that's what you need in this NFL. And they can do it. If they continue that success, you may be seeing them in the playoffs. I agree. I agree. I want to give out a, a big shout-out. Big shout out to Tyler Sheen and Fred Johnson on the O line. Those two came out of nowhere and I mean held it down. For sure. You gotta give it to the O line. You gotta give it to the O line, man. Steven Johnson, I mean, and Fred was so emotional about it too. Because he wanted to play. He's been wanting to play now for the years that we've had him. And the last time he took the field, if I'm not mistaken, was three years ago. I mean, what's that tell you about Big Fred? I mean, Big Fred did big things. He did big things. Absolutely. Absolutely did big things. Last question I want to ask you, what, what do you look forward to next week with Tampa Bay? you got a lot of injuries that are surmounting now. Week five can't come any faster. Right. What do you, what do you think of Tampa Bay? So a couple of things. Denver putting a hurting on them. That surprised me. And then I think the thing that Eagles need to realize is Tampa Bay is still talking smack from last year. In fact, they have going around the stadium, Philadelphia coming back for more. Yeah, we're coming back for more. We're coming back for more. We're going to bring that D, that intimidating D, that tenacious D. And let's light up Baker. Let's make Baker wish he were back in the kitchen like a baker should. Bacon bread. Because we need to go after them from the get go. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I mean, they got they got a lot of weapons. Mike mm -hmm. Evans, Chris Godwin. That defense isn't too bad either. They're a little. They they got a little chip on their shoulder because they got us. But I think we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be alright. I think this win right now, number one, it saves Sirianni's job. Number two, when it came down to it, it gives us a little bit more confidence to going into next week. Because once we get next week, we can have we can have just a little bit of relief. Because then, oh then, our boys are coming back, and we'll be fully loaded, and we'll be ready to rock. Ah, fly, Eagles fly. That being said, next week we got the Bucks. We'll be seeing you with Tampa Bay. That being said, you already know what it is. I got the mama, me, Michael B. Throw the light over the mic. You already know what it is. Let's make it happen. Flop. Flop. Go bird. Go bird! Let's make this epic! If you like this video, you want to know, are you confident or concerned?